program the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which my friends are blindfolded. And the blindfolds are all in place, panel? Yes, sir. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? panel, in the case of our mystery challenger, we get right down to the general questioning and new set of rules. You ask questions in turn, one at a time, moving clockwise, and we will begin the questions with Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you in show business? Yes, ma'am. Are you in, uh, in motion pictures? Yes, sir. Would you be considered a leading man? You must be from the applause. I would answer yes, definitely. Mr. Sir? Uh, are you about to open in a new picture? No, sir. A uh, small conference. We know there's going to be a picture. <coughs> he had time to make a new no, picture. No, we're actually... Well, we have a technical problem here. Not to mislead you, Bennett, I would say that for the layman's terms, we might describe our guest as about to open in a new picture, but it would be in layman's terms and not the technical terms of the industry. Miss Kilgallen? Would, would you explain that for me? Because I don't know whether I'm a layman or not. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, there you are. I can't do that. George Gobo wouldn't. No. Let me see. Uh, that there is a technical term for the industry which would tend to prescribe the amount of time between the question and the opening of the picture. Well, in lay terms, because of what you might read in the paper or hear on the uh, air or see on television, you'd say, well, yeah, he's about to open in a new picture, you see? You mean it's open somewhere but not New York? Is that no, I don't mean that at all. I just mean that a layman, just on the basis of publicity, would conclude that the picture is about to open and not know the specific date, perhaps. Oh. Could you explain it in terms of... <laughs> Could you tell an old pro what you mean, John? <laughs> uh, are you in a picture that is now running in New York at any theater? No. I don't think so. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Lewis. I take it you're a handsome uh, motion picture star, uh, currently employed. Do you need a replacement? <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> do you have you uh, do you make in uh, uh, do you have a regular television series? No. Two down a date to go, Miss Francis. Are you a comedian? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Well, you're so courteous and uh, unshow me like. Uh, have you got some other claim to distinction beside being in the movies? You do something else? That he has a clear claim to distinction beyond his participation in the movies. Yes. Mrs. Kilgallen? Well, are you in the field of sports as well? No, ma'am. Four down and six to go, Mr. Lewis. You have another claim to fame. Did you, uh, did you uh, do something that attracted the nation's attention in that you were featured in newspaper stories at one point? Yes, that's right. Well, if, uh, if you are a motion picture actor who was featured in newspaper stories, would it have been as a result of your performances in World War II? Yes, that would be true, Doc, Miss Harley. Well. Mr. Sir? Are you Audie Murphy? Audie Murphy! <laughs> Yeah, it was kind of tough. I want to explain why we had a trouble with the picture. Since he explained it to me, now I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> now, Audie said there is a special showing of his picture, the picture actually made of Audie's life called the Helen Beck, and it's going to be on Governor's Island next week, but the picture actually doesn't go into the theaters until October. So you, I was stuck. You could read in the papers that it was opening, but I couldn't be sure. Needless to say, a great note of distinction rides with this man for the rest of his life. He owns, holds the Congressional Medal of Honor. And, we're all proud to have you with us, Pappy. Good to see you. A lot of fun. Real good to see you.